Hello and welcome back to Game Developer Tycoon. So you notice that this is not the right title. Well, okay. I have a few stories to tell y'all. In the meantime, we're going to start a new game. That's part of the stories. Um, okay. So, we started this series like a couple weeks ago. Um, and I got through my first run of it. had all the episodes recorded. And the game just said, no, nah, um, we didn't record one of those episodes. Or, I should say, Fraps thought that was the way to go. So, one of the episodes didn't get recorded at all. So, I started again. I started a new thing. That was the scripted games company that you just saw on the title screen. <coughs> well, I went on vacation. And I was meaning to render everything and get them out to you. But... I went on vacation. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of time on my hands. There was a lot of packing stuff to finalize before going. And this was not as much of a priority as I wanted it to be. But, you know, it happens. Mm. Coffee in the daytime. So we're going to start a new game. It's totally fine. Um, we'll just call the first two episodes that we did. This a trial run. Make sure YouTube's working. How's that? Anyways... We'll, we'll do this one um, a little bit differently. I did a little bit of research, and um, I think we can get... Because uh, the first company I made, the... Uh, what was it? I forgot what it was called now. It didn't do very well at, in the mid-game. And I was trying to find out why, and I think I understand. And you will see some differences. So hold on to your butts, as Samuel L. Jackson in uh, Jurassic Park says. So we're going to make a game company again. Um, and I want to kind of modulate, well, it's kind of hard to, I was thinking of modulating like a real life game company that started in the 1980s, kind of similar to, I guess, uh, like Atari, well, like, um, whoever did Doom or something like that, that's still around today. There's not many of them, I guess. Blizzard's, I guess, a good example. Well, let's just make our own thing. Like, let's put ourselves in the world. Let's make a story for every game, too. I think we'll have a better time. What? I've never seen the settings thing. What does this mean? Game length. Oh, I didn't know you could change the game length. That's cool. But anyways, let's think of a company name. Um, hmm. What's going on in the world? Mm, mm -hmm. Let's call this... Uh, uh, because it's 19, nah, um, the, all the games you need, oh, that doesn't fit, uh, I guess script, scripted games limited. LTD. Scripted Games Limited. I like that. And we're gonna put our name. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. We got it. We got a character name. We're a male. Um, let's not unlock the hints. Choose a save slot. Uh, let's let's commemorate the destruction of poop balls and destroy it. Okay. So we're back in our garage and we need to make some games. So let's see what topics we have unlocked. Uh, we have zombies, military, romance, surgery. Uh, um, surgery, simulation, G64 all day. You know that's the way to go. What should we call this? Um, House M D the game. So we're going to play as uh, Hugh Laurie in this game before even the show came out. Let's do text based. So it's going to be like Hugh Laurie's like, I think it's glaucoma or I think it's rheumatoid arthritis. And that's how the game's going to go. <laughs> and your job is to uh, be a surgeon afterwards. Uh, so uh, it's a simulation. Story and quests are not going to be too important. Gameplay will be and the engine will be very important. So let's get these bubbles a-poppin'. Hopefully this recording's working. Actually, I'm going to go 
real fast, pardon the pause, to check my levels. Because I want this to sound really good. And I'm struggling. Open the, the mixer down here. Find out what this is running at. Yeah, we're running on pretty good levels. I'm going to actually turn up my volume a bit. My real volume so I can hear the bloop, 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 bloop whenever things happen. Um, yeah, I forgot how this stage works out. Uh, let's go with no order. F fuck. No dialogues. I know that's more of an RPG thing. Level design and artificial intelligence. I think that's right. We'll find out. Yep, we'll get the bubbles. I'm going to turn up my speakers a little bit more. Because I like the sound. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Mm-hmm. I forgot. I think sounds... Let's do a little bit of sound. Let's do a little bit... Of... Let's put the graphics high. For a text-based game. I think I fucked that one up. We'll see. How's MD? The game could be terrible. Let's get all these bugs ironed out and see how this game does on the open market. Yeah. We got some um, stuff going on here. Yes, we did pretty good, I think. I hope this game does really well, at least. Mm -hmm. The reviews for the game came in. Uh-oh, I saw some ones. Four, not bad, not good. Oh, no. Shows potential. We got some good stuff going. Oh, seven. We're going up there. Star Games just didn't like it. Have seen better. All games didn't like it. But we got some good scores. Like, what's an average of six? Um, a newcomer to industry just released a first game. House MD, the game. Game received favorable reviews. Uh huh. Uh, I would, I would beg to differ on the idea of favorable. But we got 16 research out of it. Let's see what's going on. Mm. It's 84 in the charts. That's not too bad, I guess. I feel like uh, Poop Balls Incorporated had a better start. But still, we're in a garage. We're trying our best. Um, so, our post-game analysis revealed that surgery and simulation is great. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Hey, we got some information. Let's research. I usually go try to save up for the custom game engine. But I don't like these first things. Let's do alternate history. Let's research that. <coughs> so how's it, how's everyone's week going? The election is approaching. We're getting closer and closer. Um, 10k units sold. It's a milestone. We hit a milestone on this. Alternate history has been discovered. <coughs> Excuse me. Develop new game. We're going to do alternate history. Uh, let's do a strategy, maybe? Or adventure, or RPG? Actually, let's do strategy, military, on the, you know, the G64. And we're going to call this, um... Guns make kid, the kid, kids cry. It's a game. It has a liberal, uh, a liberal criteria. I feel it's our first time in 2D graphics or foray into that. Let's see how this this does. It's a strategy game, so our engine and our gameplay have to be like like that. Maybe I don't, I forgot this whole damn game. Let's just put gameplay pretty high up. See how it goes. We could be totally wrong. It's okay. We're getting the bubbles though. The bubbles are coming through. Our research is through the roof. Um, strategy. Artificial intelligence has to be good. Level design, dialogue's down. Yeah, that, I think that's fine. So elections are approaching. Make sure you vote. Sometime, some states, if you haven't registered, you're not going to be able to vote unless you go to a polling place the day of. But please vote. It's your, it's your right. I feel like I have to say that every episode because a lot of people overlook it. And I feel like it shouldn't be overlooked. Um, world design... Maybe. Graphics lower. I could be wrong on development of stage three. I'm trying to think of like games that are military strategies like uh, Command and Conquer is a good example. But we'll see. We're getting some desi design at the end there. Um, mm -hmm. 
this is when our Commodore 64 was killing it in the in the world. Ding ding ding! We did it. New records. Get those experience points. We didn't level up anything, but we got the new records. Records are everything. Mhm. Mm the reviews are coming in. Guns make kids cry. The game. Mm. Oh come on, a five. Oh, you guys really want to talk to these magazines and uh, reviewers and see why. Why they just can't catch me a break here. People are going to play the game, though, nonetheless. So good, good for us, you know. Now, the question is, should we save up to 50 to make our custom game engine? Or I think we're going to buy another research. Before, I would just save up. Military, stri military and strategy is a great combination. Artificial intelligence be, seems to be very Im quite important for this type of game. Platform genre match is great. Okay, we, we did some good things there. We learned a lot. We have some uh, insight into the industry. Um, let's just get a new topic going already. I, I know it's kind of crazy, but we're going to do it. Mm. Oh, man, these are some bad subject matters. You know what? Prison. No. We're, we're not going to research anything. We're going to do a zombie game. Uh, action or adventure? Action. On the... Damn it. On the G64. And we're going to call this... Uh, Zed's... Zed's... Fun... 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 Fun, fun, game. Subtitle, The Game. Zed's Fun Game, The Game. And it's going to be with the 2D graphics. I think we did pretty good on that. We're going back-to-back -back game titles here. It's pretty good. Um, it's an action game, so gameplay has to be high up there, I believe. Story and quest. Let's just bump that up. It's going to have a little bit of story and quest. I think it's fine. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of story and quest and games anyways? Nintendo's coming around with their uh, NES, so casual gaming market's going to explode. And I think that's where we're going to find a niche with the topics that we have at hand. Action games. You need level design for action. Dialogues can stay down. Artificial intelligence can go down. Mm. So, anybody playing Civ 6? I'm playing it. I want to record and get it out to you guys that I'm playing Civ 6, but... I don't know why I can't get past a 15 FPS on that game. It's weird. Action games, graphics, world design down. Oh, sounds really important. Let's, let's bump the world design. Let's do sounds and graphics. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I, uh, yeah, I have a pretty good graphics card. I am running fraps on an external hard drive. Uh, that might be the reason. I don't know. And same with Skyrim, the special edition. I got that as well. I really want to record that. Uh, dips down to uh, unmanageable frame rate. I'm not going to drop my settings. I have a good graphics card, I feel. The, uh, it's not a great graphics card. We got level ups, by the way. It's not a great graphics card. It is the EVGA 1080, um, 3 gig. It should run things, though, at 60 frames a second. I mean, this game's only running at on average 40 but whatever uh the game reviews came in Ooh, it's bumping up could have been better oh no mm. the focus on level design served the game well yes give us a seven zombies in action is a great combination has its moments all games get out of town what are you doing here generate the game report Find out what, what we did wrong here. Mm. Contract work has been unlocked. Nice. Guess what we can do? We can make our custom game engine. Should we wait on it? Or do it right now? Let's do it right now. Why wait when you can do it now? Okay. Game report. Zombie action. Great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. And the platform and genre match is good. Let's, um... Let's do. Let's make our game engine, man. Well, let's research how to make a game engine. 
Look at this drop in sales. We went from week two being great to week three being terrible. Mm. But hey, we're trying. 76. Well, it's probably better at one point. Custom game engine is research. Game tutorials is research. Let's make the custom game game engine. Get put everything in it. Um what should we call this? What's our what's what what what's what, what, malfunction um the engine the engine version one it's just called the engine by the way i'm not very good at naming things so if you have any ideas for names please let me know in the comments and i will definitely put you in here as a game name or an engine name or a company name because i'm hoping I'm hoping this whole recording goes well and we have several episodes that we go off of. Mm. And maybe somebody can also, if if possible, if anybody knows, give me, uh, tell me why, if there's a better way of running Fraps or something to where I can play other games that are a little bit more visually demanding than this game. That would be cool. Okay, the engine version 1 is complete. Can you believe it? I can. Um, we could, we have enough to research a new topic. Let's do it. Uh, cyberpunk. Let's make a cyberpunk RPG. Oh my goodness. The Nintendo Entertainment System has been released. Year two. We're, we're gaining a pretty good fan base. We have a good amount of money in the bank. We, we, we need to start getting, uh, we need to get a good game made. I feel is the next step. Cyberpunk. RPG on the G64 um, with the engine. What should we call this? It's a cyberpunk game, kind of like Shadowrun or um, I don't know, Dishonored. Bioshock is another example. Let's call it. Do you even cyber? Comma. Punk? Question mark. Do you even cyberpunk? It's funny because cyber means having internet sex, so it's kind of it's it's really funny there. Story and quest way up there. It's a, let's save linear story. Uh, I forgot what second nature is. It engine second nature gameplay is no engine is. Wow, I haven't played this game in a minute, guys. Let's do it that way. I could be totally wrong. It's an engine-based game. Mm. Technology and design. Dialogue's way up there. Level design, artificial intelligence sound. I know that one for a fact. Yeah. Mm. Get all those bubbles popping. Do you even cyber punk? It's doing great. World design. Let's bump that up there. It's a cyberpunk game, guys. Let's do it like that. Boom. We're almost into the red. We need this game to do good. Come on. Let's get the bugs out. We did it. We have finished the game. We're going to see how this does on the open market. Level ups all over the damn place. We have new research available of mono sound, which we should definitely consider. The reviews came in. Let's see how we did. Please. Please. Seven. We'll take it. We're doing better on these games, man. Six. I liked it. Thanks, Informed Gamer. Oh, look at that eight. Our first eight. We got an eight. Show us potential. Hey, th that game did pretty good. I ain't going to lie. It's not the best out there, but it did better than a lot of BS that's out there, too, I'm sure. It's ranked 39. It just bumped up into the sales. It's ranked 46, though, which is weird because it had more sales. But hey, we'll take it. Okay, get that research. Okay, Cyberpunk RPG is a great combination. Dialogue seem to be very important for this type of game. Platform match is good. It's not great, it's good. Okay, so these are engine based. We just developed an engine. Let's see what our new top vampire. Really? Really? Um, let's do 
shit. Uh, mono sound. Let's do mono sound. Sounds really important for certain types of games out there. We actually should do. Uh, we could also research a topic. Why not use all our research points up? So we're we're primed and ready. I, I just like really vampires. Casual casual games is where we're going to be at. Cause look, we got music, fashion, romance. Yeah, we have three criteria that can go into casual easily. Let's do, um, let's get ready for it. Music. Music game. <clears throat> so, yeah, we were doing it. There are a few more games coming out later on this year that I'm pretty interested in. Like Pokemon, we got a Sun and Moon job coming. Yeah, we got, we got sales from that game. It's off the market. We did it. Our next game might put us in the red, but we need to do it right now. New game. Let's go back to uh, Surgery. Let's make a sequel. This is not a real sequel, but it's a sequel. S simulation. How did Simulation do on the G64? We don't know. Market share is still pretty good. We don't have Casual unlocked. Once we can get Casual, we can definitely jump on the NES. Um, Surgery. What was our first surgery, surgery game called? Dr. House MD, or let's call it, it was House MD first, but Dr. House MD, the game, the game, so it's now, now he got upgraded to Doctor, why, why is, why can't I next it, oh, pick genre, oops, simulation, yep, we're next, we're putting everything in, it's not text-based, it's 2D graphics, version 2, we are hurting on the money, but I think we're going to do well. It's the story, or the engine needs to go up, as we see on the plu two plus marks. I almost said the plu plus marks. Uh, yeah, we're, we are bumping up. Okay, we re recently, uh, yeah, Nintendo is doing really well. Um, Nintendo is still doing really well. That's what I got from that. Uh, so, simulation... Dialogues don't mean nothing. Or the f fuck, I forgot. Um, I think it's that way. I hope so. Cross your fingers, guys. We need a good game released so we can make some money. Okay. Um, it's a simulation. World design can bump down. Graphics jump up. Sound jumps up a little bit. Yeah. Let's do it that way. Who knows? I could be wrong. <laughs> Okay, yeah, get those bubbles popping. We need a good game. Let's get all the bugs out and let's release this to the global market. See how it does. We have new a new record for technology, which is fantastic. Um, let's let's speed this up. Dialogue's got to level up. Hey, we're doing good there. Um, let's see what the game the gaming community feels about this. Let's get a ten. Come on, a ten. A nine. Eight, yes, simulation works well on the G64. Ten, come on, nine, great, from Informed Gamer. We have a hit on our hands, I think, guys. Very good from Game Hero. Game Hero, thank you. Loved it. I worked hard on this game, and look, we reap the reward of this. It's going to sell brilliantly. We're in the red officially, and they're letting us know we're in the red, but hey, this game is going to help save us from going bankrupt. Let's, let's get this game report out there. Dr. House MD, the game, sales are through the roof. We're at 141,000. We are jumping up there. Okay. Oh, I missed the market research, but it's okay. So let's do game. Oh, no. We don't have enough points. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, martial arts. Let's research that yeah, in the episode. I think it's a good time. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, the news is... People love it. Okay? That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have a target art audience uh, research, which is cool. We'll definitely use that. So next episode... Um, hey, we're going to stay in this garage for a while longer. Uh, more than you would probably be comfortable with normally. But the thing is, is that this is a very stable environment. You don't have to deal with employees once you move out and stuff like that. So we'll stay in here. And um, so I'll check you next time. Make sure you put in the comments 
things that you want to uh, games that you want to see get developed on this uh, we have our DeLorean right here if you notice so hey we'll we'll get really nice and cozy with this DeLorean for the in this garage for a while longer than usual well anyways uh, our game did great 267 let's review the games that we did our our history dr. house oh I guess I did call the fruit no nope, no nope. house MD the game did uh did forty nine thousand or forty forty nine thousand dollar profit with average score of five point five. Guns make kids cry did eighty one thousand dollars in sales with five point five. Zed's fun game the game which is a zombie game uh did seventy thousand dollars in profits with five point seven five it jumped up and then we did great with this one six point seven five seventy eight thousand dollars. Last but not least, we just had an 8.25, $200,000 in the bank. We're, we're heading in the right direction. So I'll check you next time, which will probably be right after I'm done recording. I'll just go straight to the second episode. So I'll see you then.